So your your best controller decided to be go into the pits, and you got this PS3 controller, but without a PS3 to play with it. So you thought, hmm, maybe it would be great if I used this controller on this. Problem is, you can't do that normally, not without. Bluetooth and some software. But you have a Steam link. So, this may apply to games too, but I'm going to show you how to play PPSSPP, the PSP emulator, with a PS3 controller using the Steam link hardware as a controller hub. For the computer screen itself, I'm going to be using OBS Studio to record, but for things outside the computer screen, I'm going to be using my Nintendo 2DS with the Nintendo 3DS camera application, as you see here. The reason for that is because, one, I can't find my smartphone, and two, this can record videos. Who knew? This will be the controller I'll be using for the example. Since I said PS3 controller, I literally meant it. This is the only USB stick that I have that I'm using for this example. It's short. Literally. Plug the USB controller into the right ports. Blah, blah, blah. Um, make sure the Steam Link is on before you plug the USB into it. And, of course, you have to be in the right source. On your television. Now register the controller. Uh, once it's registered, unplug it. You may have to re shut it off, though, and reboot it. Uh, once you shut it off... Uh, just press the PlayStation button again when you get everything unplugged. Or get when you unplug the controller and Steam Link from the USB. You're going to need to log in to Steam with the Steam program, launcher, whatever you people call it nowadays. Before you can use this as a controller hub, you need to go to your settings. So on the Steam link, go to settings, followed by streaming. And then go to the advanced settings. To make it a proper controller hub, make sure you enable start streaming desktop, as well as disable video and audio streaming. This will make it so that only the controller is what's being streamed from the Steam link to the computer. Uh, put your emulator of choice in the Steam library by using Add a Non-Steam Game. If you don't see the emulator in your shortcut list, just browse for it. You can modify the newly added library shortcut in, in terms of name and icon whenever you, if you want. I did it just because I'm using a 64-bit Windows for this example, though the hard drive is kind of dying. It's stable right now, though, so that's good. Now that you're signed into Steam, start streaming. I'm sure you know how to do that on the Steam link. 
Now, when, when when it starts, it'll be blank, but there will be a mouse cursor on the top left. That's normal. Just turn off the television if you want and go to the computer. If your computer says you are streaming with this, you are on remote play with the Steam Link and you're using a controller, the controller of your choice, you're doing it right. Now start the game. Now start the emulator. Um. Now this is a hard, difficult thing, but uh, depending on the emulator, it may not work. So in order to test it, either run a game, or if you got some like PPS SPP in on your computer, because the menus can be used with a controller, check that out. For this example, I chose to run Fantasy Star Portable 2 Infinity. I did not save anything, because all I did was just load one of my character saves. However, you you can test this to debunk my my state my uh, statement if you want, but um you have to start the start the program with the Steam launcher you cannot you cannot use it outside of steam since you add it to the library that shouldn't be a problem now can't would that Once you're done, I bet you would want to turn off your controller to save batteries. On the computer, right-click the Steam icon and select Stop Remote Play. This will cause the Steam Link to stop, well, doing its thing like it's supposed to, and go back to the, to the streaming, Start Streaming menu. Of course, your controller will still be on. To turn your control off, either disconnect it or turn off your Steam Link in one of two ways. One, select the power option and say yes. Two, unplug it. If you unplug it, you will have to wait a bit till the controller realizes it's not even on. And that's pretty much it. I think I mentioned this before, but not all emulators uh, will work in the same method. Um, for PPSSPP, that works. If you try, like, PCSX2, it may not work. So, um, test it out. Test the waters. You have to make sure you run it on the Steam Launcher, though. And that's all. See ya.